Lee's making his tomato soup, and the walled garden at his estate has left a lasting impression on him. I mean, right. everything I'm using today has all been inspired by the walled garden and what they grow inside the walled garden. He may be confident about his choice of dish, but Tim and Kenny aren't quite so sure. Tim. I think this dish. I think it's a lot to pull off. Get that pie right, it's gonna be yeah, spot on, you know what I mean? It. You but get that right. thing, get that pie wrong, it could just be disaster. Ken is smoking the rabbit loin that'll be served alongside his terrine. Next, he fries rabbit kidneys. And Lee is chopping pork, which he combines with apple for the pie that will form part of his plowman style dish. Meanwhile, Tim's making his rabbit sausage by rolling the loin and shredded leg in wilted spinach and sliced ham. Next, he makes his malted dressing, but Nigel's yet to be won over by his use of a bedtime drink. So where does the malt come in, then? That's going to be a separate, a separate dressing on there. That's going to dress the broad beans, the warm broad the beans. Malt. Yes. I'm trying to give you a journey. Yeah, you've got some interesting flavours going on there, haven't you? Yeah. I'm going with you. I hope you get that balance really right, Tim. I think he had one or two concerns about the, uh, the maltiness with it. Hopefully this is going to win him over. It's not going to be a, a, big, a big, heavy dressing. Hopefully he's going to see that with the, um, with the Yorkshire Ale. I'm not quite sure where, where the malt dressing is actually coming through, but it's linking in with the beer, so you've got a shot of beer. So you've got, you've got quite a lot of things going on. The, 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 the fear is that they don't all work and come together. Three chefs in the kitchen, three different starters. But whose will celebrate the very best truly local produce? Will it be Tim's wild rabbit sausage with baby leaves, black pudding, quail's egg and a shot of ale? Kenny's rabbit and ham hock terrine with smoked rabbit loin and pate? Or Lee's pork and apple pie, chilled tomato soup and Yorkshire cheeses? All three chefs are positive of their choice of starter. But the scoring's down to Nigel, and he's keeping a beady eye and an open mind. I suppose Lee has created a little bit of pressure for himself. The key ingredient is the pie. I mean, it's a very, very basic thing to produce as a pie, but it's, it's, it's a top ingredient when it's right. Kenny has, has to be aware that um, he, he, he doesn't overindulge with ingredients. You know, he's got producers, he's got Prince Charles to cook for, so he's got to be thinking about that. Tim's combination of ingredients um, for his core dish should work. The dressing is got to make that happen. Lee is blitzing the tomato soup, but Nigel's more interested in his pork and apple pie. This is a hot pie. This is going to be a hot pie, yeah. Hot pie. I mean, being the type of character that Prince Charles is and knowing how much he loves his food, yeah. I would have thought that he will have had a few pies in his yeah, time, only when he's, sure. you know, out no in the country. So there's no pressure, really, no, to no produce a great pie, pie, then, Lee. It's, it's a country dish, it's a rustic dish, and this is what we're cooking for this year. So I really hope Nigel's going to take that into consideration and score it top marks. And cooking for Prince Charles? Yeah, it'll be an honour. You know, I've, I've cooked for the Royal Family already before. Um, three of them, actually. His uh, name dropping now, eh? Yeah, you see... Uh, so go on, who, who have we cooked for? I've cooked for Andrew uh, when I was first head chef, Joe, Prince Philip, uh, Edward and Sophie. Andrew, are you on first name terms? Sorry. Yeah, 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 awesome, yeah, yeah. That's, that's, <laughs> that's impressive. <laughs> But I think it's important, you know, obviously, with the royal family, and especially with Prince yeah. Charles, what he does with his uh, with the local produce and how he promotes it. So it's it's, it's actually quite fit now. You should be part of it.